Welcome to the Grey Line, where we're all right and wrong at the same time in our section Online Wonders. And as I have stated in the past multiple times, I am a firm believer that online creators and media have the same power and right to be taken seriously as traditional media. And one of the reasons for that is that no matter where your line of work is, you know you're putting time, research and effort into making a project that's appealing to audiences. And I think one of the major differences is the execution aspect. In traditional media, news, documentaries, and any kind of show needs to follow a format that can be distinguished from the rest, consistent within its form of work, and intriguing to the audience. Online creators can cause the same impact but with creative freedom in terms of execution, which can be presented in the iceberg video phenomenon. Look, I know this is going somewhere, please bear with me. For those that have lives, I'll explain to you what these are. Long story short, iceberg videos are online documentaries about details, easter eggs, historical events and myths, among many other things regarding a particular topic, from a certain video game to a full genre of content like Lost Media and YouTube overall. However, every level of the iceberg represents how common those details are. For example, a common data about Mario 64 is the information regarding LS Real, which represented the idea of Luigi being unlockable in the game. That will be at the surface level. But the topic of half a presses in parallel universes, yes that's a thing, is less common for people to know, so it will be considered more hidden information, fitting into a lower layer of the iceberg. The more obscure the information is to the common folk, the lower it will go to the several layers of the iceberg. I am not quite sure how many layers does an iceberg need to have in order to be accepted by the community, since I think every creator has its own set of layers for their own creations, but I think the average is 4. The tip of the iceberg, below the surface, bottom of the iceberg, and depths of the ocean, with some videos adding a fifth one called the abyss. But don't quote me on that, I'm not a professional iceberger. The reason why this really caught my attention is the amount of information these videos contain and how well some of the people doing them are at explaining them to the regular audience. Don't get me wrong, there are some topics that made me raise all of my eyebrows like the grain grubs iceberg, but just like many story documentaries, that's information that someone finds interesting and may want to have as much information of it as possible. There's a video regarding information about Mario Galaxy that blew me away with the insane level of historical relevance the development of this game has for Nintendo as a whole, as well as some interesting stories about the overall community behind Galaxy 1 and 2. There's also one regarding The Legend of Zelda, which yes, has a section dedicated to Ben Round, and get this, an iceberg video regarding how McDonald's used the Nintendo DS as a method of training for their employees. That's history channel level of information that nobody asked for but blows your mind to find out that you're into that sort of community. Lost media, the dubbing industry for a certain country, YouTubers, games, platforms, the internet as a whole, IPs, network, anything that you can imagine can probably have a vast majority of information that you may not want it to know, but once you know it, it's actually important to some regard. Like I said, not every topic that gets an iceberg is the most mind-blowing thing ever, but I think this concept of videos are pretty fantastic. It transforms something like information, you know, the one thing schools fail at doing appealing, and makes it something important for the history of whatever they want to tackle. I may not know how to make breakfast, but I know about this one letter from 1991 that sort of reflects the inspiration for the Wii. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is fucked up life. It should be said that not every iceberg gets a video per se, so I'll leave some videos that I think are very informative about the topics they handle. You will be pleasantly surprised with the amount of detail these people put into their information. I know for a fact I learned things from them, both useful and random as shit. I know this is even more off than my regular videos by this point, but I do think it's important to give credit to this new type of content being made. This isn't just people sharing weird information about topics we may be interested or not, this is people sharing information that's part of modern history, which shows that no matter how much we claim to know about the world, we may only be scratching the surface. Eh, eh, see what I did there? Yeah, eh, yes, I also hate myself, and thanks for listening!